Hello everyone, my name is JR from a &E Watches in San Francisco. Today we are taking a look at the Rolex Daytona watch case. The case houses the movement or power mechanism of the watch. We've already removed the movement and dial for an overhaul which allows us to focus on the watch case. We will start off with the watch's bezel. The numbers that are displayed around the outside allow us to measure an approximate miles or kilometers per hour. We will demonstrate this in a future video. Here on the bezel above the 12 o'clock position is the number 60. This is also the side of the case where you would locate the model number of the watch. At the 6 o'clock position you will find the measurement of speed of 120 and the serial number side of the watch. This is a scratch resistant sapphire crystal that is held in place by the bezel. Here is the watch crown, the push buttons for starting, stopping, and resetting the tachometer. The crown itself also unscrews to access the time setting functions. You can see the Rolex crown is imprinted as well as the threads for easy gripping with your fingers. The case back is the oyster that Rolex refers to on most of its watch lines. The case back screws on and off with the simple threads closing onto a gasket that seals the watch making it air tight. Also notice the information stamped inside the watch case. These numbers refer to the part number of the case back for Rolex. These threads are for the use of a watch case back tool and allows access to the movement. And that's our look at the Rolex Daytona watch case. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and questions below and we'll be happy to get back to you. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe.